In this video, I will show you how to forward telemetry data from Coyote IoT DM platform to Confluence Kafka for the carbon dioxide air quality sensors. To do this, you need to have the account on Confluence Cloud and then set up the Kafka cluster there. Let's start from the device inventory where we've got previously created devices. There are also setup observations on the temperature sensor value resource. From the left side menu, select the dashboard to see collected data. Now, we need to set up the forwarding part. For this, from the left side menu, select Integrations and Data Integration Center. Push the Add Event Handler button and select the Kafka method. Name it and if you want, activate it after creation. In the next step, choose the telemetry trigger type. I will choose resource from the temperature object. If your object is unavailable in this short list, click Add Missing Objects button and you can search it from the missing object list. Go to the next step where you've got the configuration parameters. Firstly, let's look at the right side where we've got a special message key which Coyote picks to forward data to Kafka, which is the endpoint name of a device. On the left side, set up some headers. And the last two fields, so the topic name and the producer configurations, you can find in Confluent Cloud. Go to the topics, and as you can see, there is one. Copy the name and paste in the Coyote. Now, go back to the Confluent Cloud to find the producer configuration. For this, click the Client field, click Set up the new client button, and choose the language. The best will be Java. Now, copy this snippet. In case you don't have any API keys, you can create one here. And as you can see, the keys changed. Copy not entire configuration because this lower part is related to some integrations with the Confluent Cloud Schema Registry, which won't be used by most of users. In Coyote, choose the custom configuration and paste the code. There is also a domain properties option to choose, but this will work only if you have Kafka domain properties set up. So now we can test it and we have the test succeeded. Go to the next step, which is a summary and add the handler. You can now see the active event handler. Go to the Confluent Cloud and see if the event handler arrived. Go to the topic, open Messages tab and wait a few seconds. As you can see, the first messages arrived where we have our created values in the event handler and the proper header. And that's all for the cloud connection with Kafka. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.